Hey everyone, we're all Vianney with another Gun and Bottle version 2 suit overview video. Today we got the Zock, which you guys may or may have not seen me play with. This is a very, very fun uh, support suit. Starting at 450, we're going to jump right into this arsenal because this is a somewhat unique suit. So, as you see, the main weapon here is the chest 4 barrel mega photon cannon. Now, this is the only uh, chest ability or main weapon it has. The thing is you can actually shoot it or you can focus fire and it is very very potent very strong The range is pretty good being at 500 The melee the Zoc iron nail is Special and unique to the Zoc which just a swing or wind up and then the sub weapon is the photon major cannon which is a Awesome, awesome is very strong, but it does take a while to charge and recharge after one use. It's a straight beam, and then once you shoot it, it you can kind of move it to the side, but it's very hard, very difficult too. But it does consistent damage. Looking at the skills, we have high performance radar, high performance scope, observation data link, precision shelling. Now, this is really good for this suit because it already is tanky and bulky so you can actually crouch while you're charging your shots and you get five percent more damage now the thing about shock damper is it reduces and cancels stagger after being attacked does not apply to toppling or tackle so that is if they do a down attack you won't you're going to go down but if they do a swipe for the down attack you're not going to go down so take that grain of salt and be very very wise when you're going to counter or call an enemy so this suit also has anti-stealth and anti-jamming both at level two it's awesome special head buffer is unique because a lot of this suit is its head uh, when it's hit on the head the damage does the things hp and overload on the heads hp is decreased by 10 percent so essentially when you get like headshot area you're gonna take 10% less damage, which is really cool. And unique to this suit is reverse. When you touch the, when you press the touchpad, you actually reverse <laughs> uh, in uh, 360. So it's a quick turnaround, which is unique to just this suit, and this mechanics. Now, when it comes to building this suit, I would probably suggest getting auxiliary generators. That way your range being weapons can recover faster because you're too, methods of doing your most damage is going to come from your chest and your maser cannon now both of them you can charge well you have to charge your maser cannon but you can just shoot your barrel mega but between the speed and your mobility and the position of viewing your enemies you're probably better off always charging for shots so you can hit a stagger and get a nice amount of damage off that's why I also have precision focusing ring there to help me focus a little bit faster with my ranged attacks. And of course you want to have some ranged boost modifiers in there. Uh, after that you'll probably want to beef up just a little bit some of your melee resistance because your ballistic and beam resistance is pretty amazing off the bat. So if you want a little bit of melee resistance, it can go a long way, it can help. You can still be destroyed like any other suit when you're getting bombarded by a raid type. However, that's why after that, you could probably focus on HP or head HP because of course you have the ability that uh, makes it so you take 10 less percent. And a lot of times you're gonna take damage to the head, at least from far away. The fun thing about the Zop in combat, alas, you necessarily won't have many combos to do but you can actually swipe and cancel to your Mega Particle Cannon. Now, the interesting thing about the Zoc is it's regular melees, the side swap or bottom swap will actually topple an opponent. That's very, 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 very useful when fighting and defending yourself and backing out. Now, don't forget the suit also has reverse, so if you're ever in a pinch and you think you need to retreat and you're able to pull a melee off, all you have to do is melee, Gas cancel and just get out of there. Now, that being said, you can also use your mega particle cannon, which I love it to death. I love it, love it, love it. It does take some time to charge, so 
give yourself some leeway. I like to kind of camp corners or prepare for an enemy's movement line. I wouldn't say have it in their line of sight because if they see you charging it in there where they're probably going to try to ignore you or bait that out. Now you can still go for it and take that risk, but as myself, I prefer to try to surprise them with this attack or if you aim through corners and through hallways and doorways, archways, whatever. It has a pretty long range and it staggers when you hit. It does because a heavy stagger and it does continue damage until the beam is over. You can actually turn the beam, but it's very, very slow. It's very risky. So it's very important to leave this shot unless you have a direct, direct line of sight. Or if they're getting cocky and they're running at you and they don't respect you using this weapon, just blow it, blow it on. Because even if you miss them, they can run back into the beam and take the damage. Now, the um, the clothesline is the iron nail back melee, which is really, really useful because you do a quick little lunge there. Now, your side swipes are very potent. You have a lot of range on them, so you utilize those. And I'll tell you right now, a lot of players when fighting socks, they don't realize the ability it has to withstand the first melee attack. So if you know they're going to go for that first swing and then come down with that topple go ahead and hit that counter and nine times out of ten you're going to bait that out and they're going to be like wow so they definitely if they don't know how to respect the zock they're just going to be in a lot of world hurt now all those are my favorite suits it's actually a very i won't say it's a basic suit it's very niche in terms of uh, being very heavy beam reliant, so take that in mind and be patient with the suit because you move very slow. The downside of using the suit, although it's very tanky, high defense, high HP, again, it is susceptible to topples and it's very slow. I think it'll be honestly a waste if you try to make it any faster because it is a walking fortress, walking beam fortress. That being said, hopefully you guys learned something new today. If you have the Zot, please try it out. I love it. It's definitely in my top, my top support suit list. Practice makes perfect. If you want to see more Zot stuff, check out some of the Zot videos I have around here. You will see many of sorts. And I definitely think a lot of support players should try the Zot. It's a fun suit. Thanks for checking the overview video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.